Alright, hello and welcome to my new series, my Ark Traveller series. My name is Jamaican Jazz, and I'm just stuck here on the beach. Uh, this is going to be my new Ark Survival Evolved series, where I'm playing through an Ark from Season 1, as well as three of the uh, free DLC maps, so Ragnarok, um, Valgero, and Crystal Isles. So, I'm going to be alternating between the DLC maps and the free DLC maps. So I'm going to be starting off with the island and try and beat the bosses on there um, and cl basically clear the island um, then move over to Ragnarok then to Scorched Earth, Valgero, uh, Aberration and then Crystal Isles and then finish off on uh, Extinction so the King Titan on Extinction. I'm not going to be doing Genesis because I feel like I've never done any Genesis before, and um, from what I've heard, it's very, very difficult and difficult to do solo. So this is just going to be a solo playthrough of me trying to beat all the ma uh, maps on Ark. So I've made some rules for the, the maps that I'm going to be taking, uh, we're going to be playing on. First of all, I am going to be um, taking two dinos from each map. Uh, one dino I can use once and once only on um, any of the maps that I choose. So if I take a dino with me and use it on Valgero, I won't be able to use it on any of the other maps. So, and the, the other dino um, I'm only going to be able to use in Extinction. So, I'm also going to bring a shoulder mount with me from each of the maps. So, probably gonna bring an otter from the island because I'm gonna need it to get artifacts and stuff like that. Um, can I open this? this what, uh, so, yeah, um, all of my stats are basically unmodified except for the crafting skill um, modifier because I'm only gonna be only putting four points into that, which will put me at. Uh, 200% crafting skill. Uh, what's in here? Meat. Oh, it's a water skill. That's cool. Ooh, um, might put you on here. Got a sleeping bag, which is nice. Got some berries. Two campfires. Um, if you only a saddle. Nice. So, I'm gonna have to punch some trees. And get some tools down here. The server rates are default server rates. So pretty sure Wildcard just did a buff to the regular server rates and made it two times server. Um, which means that I'm probably going to get a little bit more resources than if I played a little bit early, if I started the series a little bit earlier. Which is nice because uh, resource harvesting on vanilla is pretty annoying. Uh, it's pretty low until you get dinos, so that will probably make the early game a little bit easier for me, which is nice. Um, I'm running a few mods on the server, so I'm running S plus or structures, super structures, uh, as the primary mod on the server, and all of the other mods on the server are just quality, quality of uh, life mods. So I have a tranquilizer mod, to make knocking out dinosaurs later on in the game. I'm not going to be using it as soon as possible, but later on when I'm looking for like, you know, when I got my main base set up and everything, I don't want to be spending like half an hour trying to knock out one dino. But I'm only using the 220 Torpor uh, version, so uh, the, for, for the Fabricated Sniper and for the Long Neck. So it's only going to do 220 Torpor plus the uh, weapon damage modifier so the higher quality weapons will do more damage. But that's just to make it easier to knock out certain dinos. But I won't be using that till way later in the series. I'm planning to do about 50 episodes on the island and about 25 episodes on the other maps. So that's like 200 episodes. So a good number to finish the uh, to finish the series off. Well, aim, aim to set the series at 200 episodes. Pretty nice. So this is going to be my main project. I've also got some other mods on here like the awesome spyglass, uh, the swim clear mask, a meat spoiler, 
just small quality of life things, but I'm not even sure if I'm going to use uh, the meat, uh, the awesome spyglass mod because it seems a little bit broken. So I just ignore it and not make it, and just use a regular spyglass instead. I'll probably only, excuse me, I'll probably only use it to check uh, my dinos for when I'm bleeding later on. The only modifiers for the uh, rates on the server that I've changed is the uh, rates at which the eggs hatch and the rates at which the um, babies mature so I can spend less time uh, well I can spend less time breeding because then that way it won't take me like you know a day to breed like a compi or something like that which will help when I'm breeding for mutations, because I'm going to need to breed mutations for the boss fights later on. I'm just going to kill this Lystra. Yeah, um, I also have a stacks mod on the server, so... So I can carry more um, items. So it reduces the weight of basically most of the raw resources in Ark, so I don't get super encumbered by everything. And that's more of a quality of life thing. I'm not very good at Ark. I've never actually beaten any of the bosses except for the island bosses and um, Dalgaro bosses. I've never actually ascended on Ark. So this is going to be kind of like just a playthrough of me trying to go solo, I guess. And hopefully, uh, you know, later on I can maybe get some mates to, to play with because I don't really have too many friends that have the time to play Ark. I mean, it's a very time consuming game, and if you don't have your own custom service, it's kind of difficult, so I can understand that. But hopefully, I uh, can meet some new people to maybe do series with. I don't know, that's in the future. But right now, I am just going to be focusing on getting materials. Did I get enough fiber? I need more fiber. Yeah, um, it's just a little safe island spawn point. Which is good, because there's nothing really here that can kill me apart from compies and dilos, and even they're pretty easy to deal with. Reminds me I should probably make some spears. Uh, I should make that. Six should be alright. Yeah, none of the XP rates and everything have been changed at all, so... Just gonna do the beach bob early game grind. I'm planning to build my base. Uh, on the other side of the river there. Hopefully I don't get ambushed by raptors. Um, take you. So I'm just gonna craft a full set of cloth. And then work my way up to a bow. And then uh, try and see if I can build a little base. Sure, we need. We need a lot of wood. We need a lot of fiber. The early game fiber is pretty difficult to gather in large quantities because the only way to get it is by doing this. So I've got a macro set up on my mouse so I can toggle on and off um, my character, basically mashing the E button, which is nice because it lets me harvest materials. It lets me do uh, other cool stuff like. If I'm getting hungry and all I have is berries, it lets me eat berries really quickly by spamming E. It's nice. Put my cloth on. Um, what level is bow? 10. What level am I? 6. Kill some more dodos, get some more meat. But yeah, I want to be able to attempt. Oh, the trial bike. Hold up. Hang on there, Mr. Trial Bike. Here you go. Yeah, I'm planning to build like a, an outpost just on the other side of the river here. Hey, oh! Oh no. Did I hit you? Uh, okay. Let's just gonna try and harvest you before I die. I didn't realize I hit the track. I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully it doesn't put me in a weird spot. 
Yeah, puts me right on the beach. Sweet. Just gonna go collect my stuff. What level was that tripe? Actually, that reminds me. Should probably make a trip. Tribe of Jamaican Jazz. What are you gonna call it? Yeah, the boys. Or I should have called it Yeah, the boy. Because it's just me. Well. What level are you, Mr. Track, that killed me because I accidentally hit you with my. 60. Oh, that's not bad. Might come tame you later when I'm ready. Some decent chitin from this battle. Ooh, we're in silica pearls. That's nice. So now I'm not sure if there's any more trilobites for the beach. I see three seagulls in the corner there, so that's not good. Didn't put my arm on. Uh, is there any trilobites over here? Nope. Guess not. Uh, what level am I? Might put point in my way. Just for now. Yeah, it's just harvesting. Uh, I'm. What level do I need to unlock wood? Wood. Um, wooden. Foundation 11, so I'm gonna need to kill something. Ooh, hey buddy. I'm gonna try and see if I can get a bow and then craft some arrows. Um, get a couple of kills on some, some dinos, level up quickly. Make a little wooden temporary outpost base. Because I wanna I wanna build on the other side over there. So I can be close to these river rocks here, so... Because these river rocks give metal. And I don't have a flyer at the moment, so... So I'm reasonably accessible to the metal, and there's a decent amount of them near the river. The only thing I'm worried about is, like, raptors and carnivores spawning over there, which is not going to be ideal if that, that happens. But I guess that's future me's problem. Um... There's a lot of dead over there. Spear bike. I mean, I'm not going to say no to free hide. Speaking of free hide, does my corpse give me hide or is it just meat? Oh, just meat. Oh. Um. What is that? Oh, dude. So yeah, just gonna harvest them. So the server difficulty is set to six. Um, so the max dino level is gonna be two hundred, uh, one hundred and eighty. So that's gonna be nice. So I know official is like one fifty, I think, at least on the island. So it's a little bit higher, but oh well, it's gonna make my life a little bit more difficult when I take on the bosses. So I guess. Yeah, high risk, high reward. Why do my tools keep breaking on me? Might see if I can. What level are you? It's a, that's better. Why is a spear going to be vicious? Oh, this might be a bad idea. It's going to take a while. Yeah. How much health do you have? It's starting to get bloody. Let's see. Oh no, what am I stuck on? Oh. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Gonna be? We didn't get a level from that though, which sucks. Because once we unlock the bow, it's gonna be just wonderful for us. Two more levels. Ooh, um, do I get bowlers at level 8? No, at level 9. This is the same truck that killed me from before. Like this. So anything we can craft that will give us XP. Oh, 
I mean, I can ditch this campfires because I'm going to be using the superstructure campfires anyway. Um, that's my level up, so that should be the bowlers that I can use. Let's get some points in health. Just going to get some bowlers going just in case some raptors decide to ambush me. Uh, six. Make a storage box. How much stone do I need for a pestle and mortar? 65. Uh, might craft a bed while I'm here as well. Is that going to be expensive? Reasonably expensive. Probably should get some more. What am I doing for water? Oh, this should be fine. I should get some more uh, fiber. Because this fiber is going to be difficult to get in large quantities until I get a bear of some sort or something. So I don't think I'm going to get a Therizinosaurus anytime soon because I won't be able to ride it. Get some XP from these life on the beach. 102! And mate boosted. Oh no. Hit him the other way, so it's a weapon, mate. There we go. Sorry, little guy. Where'd your buddy go? There he is. Oh, is that a s uh oh. Spino. Whoa! Oh, okay. One or two gave me one level. It's not bad. So I think I can make the bow now. So I'm going to go ahead and make the bow. I might make two actually, just in case. And how much arrows can I make? Six. Because oh, I don't have five as well. Okay, I'm going to put bows on here. Bowlers go here. Bows. Don't have any arrows because I need fiber. Leveling up melee damage kind of helped with the harvesting, which is nice. I've also got the Dino Colorizer mod. Is, uh, I personally think the mutation colors are a little bit strange when you get a fully mutated dino, so I want to be able to paint my dinos colors that I want. It's purely aesthetic anyway, so. I mean, if I get some nice colors, I won't complain. But yeah. Is there any other mods that I may have forgotten to mention? Got a wooden hanging bridge mod. I think that's it. Mm, 50. So, might make a storage box as well. If I can. Box and was it? Oh, I didn't get any stone for that vessel mortar that I was going to make as well. Grab some fire. And there's a level up. Is that a. Uh, okay. Fish. Oh. Troll bite. Another one. One seventy four trailer bite too. It's gonna to be a decent amount of XP. The um, reason I'm killing these trailer bites is because early game silica pearls are hard to come by, and I want to start stacking them up now, which will make my life easier. 
a later on. I know there's tech dinos that give you electronics now, so that will be a little bit. I won't. I won't need silica pearls for the electronics as much, which will be nice. But I just kind of want to set up this outpost in this episode. Okay, cool. Uh, can we shoot this bird out this guy? Because these guys are annoying. Uh oh. We can kill him. Oh, yes. Get wrecked. So, how much materials. Is that a duck? It is a duck. Uh, anyway, how much materials do I need? I'm not gonna get that polymer just yet. I'm gonna leave that duck there because uh, poly organic polymer is gonna be nice later on. The ghillie suit. Uh, so I've got wooden triangle foundations. I can make three of them. Cool. I need more wood though and more fire. Just quickly grab them onto that. I'm gonna level up a decent amount from crafting these materials. I need some thatch as well. I think I'm going to need a lot of fire though. So hopefully I can get the space set up on the other side of the river there and there's no carnos or raptors that are going to try and kill me. Um, one more point in there. I might do a quick on some melee damage. Did my water skin run out of water? Or did I not use it? I can't remember. Um, where is the foundations? There they are. Cool. So I'm going to make three more of those. And a regular wood one. Actually, I might make, get just a few more materials to make a couple of more of those, just to get a little, out, uh, little platform set up. And my hatch will break again. I still need more wood. That takes a lot of wood. Uh, I'm gonna get melee damage. Helps with the material harvester. I'll get more fire. Foundation. Okay, so there is the foundations that we need. I'm gonna need some food. Uh, which berry? Is there a berry that gives more water than the others? Is that medjo berry? I kind of want to save those medjo berries though. That will help me turn my head more later on. But yeah. Um, I'm just going to cross this river. How many ducks are there? Two ducks. One. And there's one over there. So that's nice. I'll save you guys for later until I can find a way to store that organic polymer away without losing it. Is there any piranhas in the water here? That's a question. Nope. Oh, not here. Or is there? That's nice. Um, so I want to build a nice little flat area. flat area over here that isn't infested with raptors. Dodo. So it's pretty nice. Be over here. Clear these rocks. Just keep an eye out for raptors. 
Building here. I'm just going to build a basic circle. Nothing too fancy. Uh, build a water skin for a sec. Okay, got a nice little platform going. And then I put the bed down. that pestle and water and item. Put pestle and water on here. Nice and neat. Cool. So this is gonna be my temporary base. Campfire in the middle. Put some wood in there and cook up some meat. So the S plus crafting is really fast compared to regular crafting because I set I cranked up all the production um, stations to cook stuff really quickly. I haven't made any changes to fuel consumption or anything like that, but yeah, this is our little temporary outpost place. I'm gonna build here. Um, level up a little bit and maybe gather some resources and uh, eventually move closer to the volcano because the volcano is where it's at basically. I want to be close to um, obsidian and, and, and metal nodes and stuff like that. It's going to make my life a lot easier for later on when I'm building up. But yeah, that's the that should be the end of the episode. So if you guys like what you're seeing so far, I know it ain't much, and I'm just starting out. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, leave in the comments any tips or any advice or any just general comments. Uh, what are you running from? Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode.